So, um, workplace safety signage is a requirement on all construction sites. Highly visible safety signs can help prevent injuries and ensure that all staff and visitors are aware of any dangerous hazards. Without signage on construction sites, employees could be left unaware of risks and employers might find themselves in significant legal and workplace health and safety trouble. Construction signs are a mandatory requirement to ensure your project activities abides by workplace occupational health and safety requirements. There is a wide range of work safety signs with a different design and use. They are used to address any hazard, danger, or other information workers and people entering the workplace need to be aware of. It is important to note that hazard safety signs should not be solely relied on and there is no substitute for well-trained workers. Work safety signs have a purpose to serve as a reminder and be used to those who are not familiar with the construction site or safety procedures. What is the main purpose of your signs? In general, they serve several common purposes like to promote, to identify, provide information, give directions, or raise safety awareness. For this uh, reason, it is necessary that work safety signs are easy to understand. Simple graphics are work or words work far better than complex instruction in allowing a person to make an immediate decision. Many are typically recognizable, such as the red circular prohibition sign, but others might need to be more specific depending on the situation. So, what are the different types of safety signs used on construction sites? We have prohibition, mandatory warning signs, safe condition, and the fire equipment. But we start with the prohibition signs. Prohibition signs are there to tell you not to do something. They are danger signs telling you that it is not safe to proceed. And what color makes you think of danger? It is red. These signs have a red circle with red diagonal line through it. The pictogram is black on a white background. An easy way to, rem to remember the shape of prohibition signs is that it is circle, again, like a full stop. And the sign literally means no, stop, never, or do not. Example examples are um, no authorized person, no entry, no smoking, do not operate. No parking. Next, we have the mandatory signs. Mandatory signs are there to, to tell you to do something. Consider this the opposite of prohibition signs. These mandatory signs are round in shape. The pictogram is white on blue background. The circle usually has a white border. And instead of being round or for full stop like prohibition signs, you can remember that mandatory signs are round for round for o obey because that is what you must do. Obey them. A specific behavior or action means that this is something you must do. Examples wear a face mask, air protection must be wear worn. Keep fire door closed, keep clear, and pedestrians only. Next, we have the warning signs. Warning signs are there to warn you of danger. Unlike the two previous signs, they don't tell you uh, not to do something or to do something. They simply aim to make you aware of a danger so you can protect yourself, meaning... Warning, be careful or be aware. These uh, warning signs are triangular in shape. The pictogram is black on a yellow background. The triangle 
has a black border. Examples, uh, caution, hot water, danger, 400 volts, like that, and mind the step, fragile roof, caution, slippery floor. Next, we have the safe condition signs. Usually, follow, uh, usually be followed to safety. And what color better represents safety? It's green. These signs are rec rectangular or square in shape. The pictogram is white on a green background and will often have a white border. Meaning, you must follow. Uh, meaning is also um, giving you... Uh, this is the way, this way, we have also the escape route, that's why we have the far exit there, and then the first aid. We also have push bar to open, assembly points, first aid box, and emergency stop. Next type of health and safety signs, we have the fire equipment. Fire equipment or fighting signs show you where the fire equipment is. What color do we think of uh, for fire? We have red, but we already used red with prohibition sign. Well, fire equipment signs are also red, but in different, different shape. These signs are square or rectangular in shape. The pictogram is white on a red background and will often have a white border. Meaning, uh, here is the fire equipment, fire extinguishers, fire alarm, uh, what more? We have gas shut off valve or for fire use only. Other types of signs, we have the danger and caution signs. Pictures like this, example. These signs are specific to warn or of hazards or potential hazards or dangerous goods that are likely to be life-threatening. Danger signs uh, have black text and a red oval on the top with the word danger written in white. The construction no trespassing sign is one of the safety signs in construction site. It keeps your construction site safe from injury and theft by restricting access to construction sites. Next, we have the site safety signs. The site safety sign uh, helps you to make your job, uh, job site safe and secure. Uh, post sa safety regulations and policies. So here's an example. Site safety signs. Next, other type of sign, we have the construction entrance sign. It makes sure people are aware that they are about to enter a construction zone. Next, we have the under construction signs. It notifies and warns workers and visitors of your location's construction zone. We also have the construction PPE sign. Personal protection signs are used in construction zones to keep workers and visitors safe. Site office signs uh, means workers and guests are directed to the site offices through this sign. Men working above signs. Men working above signs is one of the safety signs in construction site, meaning to keep workers and passing traffic safe and identify overhanging risk. Here's an example. Open trench safety sign. It helps provide it helps to avoid falling into an open trench or pit. Let's say the elevate, elevator pit or sewage pit and make sure dangerous places are marked. Excavation warning signs. It makes sure your workers are aware of any excavation activities or equipment on the job. 
Next, we have the scaffold or ladder safety signs and tags. Workers are warned of any scaffold that is missing or harmful as well as uh, as well as any ladder rules using this sign. That's what we call the scaffold or ladder safety signs and tags. Sidewalk closed signs. The sidewalk closed sign is one of safety signs in construction site. It keeps pedestrians safe by directing them to a safe crossing point if a walkway is closed. We have the sidewalk Closed signs. Next is the crane and safe crane safety signs. That is a crane and its parts. Uh, it may this sign means workers are informed about the dangers of operating cranes and working near them through this sign. And then we have the welding signs. Welding signs to help keep personnel safe when welding. The gas cylinder sign. With cylinder safety signs, you can ensure the safety of everyone in your gas cylinder regions or areas. Next, we have the safety tape. The safety tape is one of the signs in construction site. Safety tape serves important functions in the workplace. They highlight hazards, uh, mark walkways and aisles, helps people helps people find egress routes and attraction. These safety tapes provide visual cues or instructions that make it easier for people to navigate through spaces and in some cases they even improve the walking surface specifically the barricade tape this one barricade barricade tape can be used to keep workers and guests out of certain places they are made with uh, durable resilient tear-proof plastic materials such as polyethylene polypropylene, and nylon. It is used in construction zones to not notify people about the ongoing construction and that there are possible hazards within the demarcated area. Safety tapes also have different types depending where will it be utilized. First, we have the anti-slip tapes. Uh, its uses it can be seen along handrails, the edges of steps, walkways, and also scaffolding. Anti-slip tapes provides a uh, um, coarse sur surface designed for additional traction along areas such as steps, corridors, and walkways, often resistant to weather and other uh, slick liquids like oil and grease. These tapes can also uh, increase safety in areas where employees are of, uh, often travel. Anti-slip tapes could, uh, can also be glow in the dark depending on their varieties and they are available for areas of low light. Next, we have the anti-splashing tapes. Uh, it is used mainly on the joints and fittings of pipes transporting liquids. There are a lot of uh, liquids or say fluids and chemicals that travel through the pipe infrastructure or industrial businesses. And many of the liquids are hot, volatile, or both. Very commonly found on maritime vessels, these tapes are affixed to fittings or weakened areas that could potentially drip or rupture. They help contain hazardous spills and even redirect fluid in the case of leaks. Next, we have the spray control tapes. Uses uh, mainly on the joints and fittings of pipes transporting liquids too, but works much in the same way 
uh, works the same way with anti-splash tapes but it this is spray control tapes are designed to help contain the flow contain the flow of only specific types of chemicals types of safety tape we have the barrier tapes uses for blocking of areas creating trails and paths they are durable and weather resistant these tapes serve as a way to direct or prohibit traffic in both indoor and outdoor locations there are a wide variety of color combinations available to fit a business individual needs but understand that some patterns are universal to certain situations and can only be used for those applications these uh, tapes barrier tapes are also sometimes emblazoned with terms such as caution or prohibited in order to increase the aware uh, their awareness we have the plugging tapes. Um, they are attention grabbing, not necessarily a prohibitive measure. Um, it's not a tape in traditional sense, as these products are generally uh, these products generally don't have a sticky adhesive. Flagging tapes can still grab areas such as trees pipes or other materials that demand attention they are manufactured with bright fluorescent colors that immediately catch the eye these waterproof tapes are often used within surveying industry an example is this one a flagging tape used on a stake for survey purposes Next, we have the floor marking tape. Uses over areas of floor or walkway damage. As the name implies, these tapes are meant to be used whenever there is potentially hazardous damage to floors. They can be applied quickly and removed without any lasting damage to the surface. Well, uh, generally, much more effective than other measures like cones or portable signs which are often moved or ignored altogether we also have the photo luminescent tapes uses especially on emergency exits or outdoor events with glow in the dark functionality these tapes works by absorbing the light from ambient sources then illuminate illuminating dark hallways and corridors like this one capable um, photoluminescent tapes are also capable of being used outdoors these are beneficial in guiding people towards emergency exits especially in the presence of smoke the hazard reflective tapes can be seen on emergency vehicles or indoor parking garage uh, they have they are known to have yellow black color and red white color it is highly durable with an almost mirror like surface these tapes are meant to notify those in the immediate area of potentially dangerous situations or heavy machinery we also have the safety reflective tapes can be seen on vest safety vest funny shoes also bikes and athletic athletic attire they are bright colorful tapes that call attention to whatever they are attached to often found on safety vest again but also have applications for runners or cyclists especially when exercising at night the last type of a safety tape is called the retro reflective tape. Um, they are used in boats, life vests, motorcycle helmets. Re retro reflective tapes are produced with encapsulated glass lens beads. These tapes utilize a special honeycomb appearance that captures and reflects large amounts of light. 
much more so than found in other reflective tapes. Selected variations are favored by the maritime industry and are often found on life preservation devices. In all conclusion of these mentioned types, we need to follow the safety signs so we can still be alive to see the completion of our work or project. To warn against dangerous and prohibited actions in a certain area, we also need these health and safety signs to, to highlight safeguards and procedures that must be followed or equipment that must be worn. We also need the signs to draw attention to a nearby hazard or potentially dangerous situation. And last but not the least, to direct people towards essential safety gear and fire safety equipment.